Hello, everyone. This is Fahim Jackson, and this is episode 139 of my podcast show in the now. This podcast is aimed at trying to guide you through the world with a variety of topics. Each season, there will be a particular group of topics to cover. Within these topics, I am asking questions and trying my best to answer these questions with my viewpoints of the world around me. The following episode introduction speech is for the topic of today, and that is how long should a person be in the gym to get a good workout? Whenever I go to the gym, I'm always there for about an hour or more. Some people do one simple workout and others do workouts for a few hours. Both sides of the spectrum can be harmful or less helpful to the person in a fitness facility. For this episode, I will be going through the time frame in which a person should be inside the gym. And to me, it depends on the muscles that you're trying to work in order to get the most out of their workout. Some workouts are good for a short period of time and other workouts are good for longer. We will go through this episode to show the various ways in which you can utilize your time in the gym, lifting weights, or performing cardio. So listen, enjoy, and share with your community. And make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is in the description of this episode, as well as my Rumble. And for those of you already watching on the YouTube, hit the bell and like the video. Let's start with where to go train. In previous episodes, I discussed places to go and exercise to get a good daily workout. I talked about how I first went to Planet Fitness, which is a place where you can attend in order to get a good workout. And I will say for this time being, this is a simple place to go. It's a low cost, which is about $10 per month. You don't get as many items and machines as another place, but you get your money's worth for what it is. And that is not much for $10. Now, the next place I decided to attend is more of a New York City location, as well as New York Fitness and LA Fitness. As for Blink Fitness, where I go now, I will speak for New York City because it's where I live. This place is about $15 to $39 a month. Now, Blink actually is a national center, with most being in New York. As for those of you seeking to spend a lot more money, then there's Equinox. This is a fitness center which caters to a more exclusive base. So let's look at have a walkthrough with staff. From the previous section, after you go have picked a place to go exercise, you have to make sure you visit the location. And once you do, you will begin a walkthrough on the first day of the gym. The staff will begin showing you around the building, the locker rooms, and how you can purchase locks or forms of apparel that are connected to this fitness center. Then you'll be taken throughout the center and shown the various weights as well as how to go about using the equipment. It sounds crazy that we need assistance to properly use the equipment. Maybe I don't notice it because I've been doing it for so long. But how do you manage to do to not use the weights the right way? Well, I don't want to judge simply because this is about putting people in the know. So from here, you may even get a chance to lift some light weight to see how it feels. From here, you leave the building and put a plan together or when you will return. That starts with the type of foods that you'll be putting into your body as you come back for your workout. Have a diet that works for you. When it comes to the diet, food is very important because eating whatever you want still won't aid you. There must be a well-balanced diet that goes into your daily fitness, and that diet is yet another discussion I had in the past. You must make sure that you're getting the right amount of protein in your body. In addition to having the right amount of protein, it doesn't hurt to have a GNC powder as an additive with some juice to add in your goals. Let's go into the carbohydrates, but don't overdo it. Simply because from a health standpoint, that's not good either. And of course, you have fruits and vegetables. These are foods that are the healthiest meals for you to consume. Now, when you're eating, make sure beverages that you consume will be useful. I said prior in the section with using protein powder. Try your best to stay away from carbonated beverages. This is not going to go over too well in regards to your health. Now, let's go into the next section where we talk about working out. What workouts to choose? As for the proper workouts. You have to choose workouts that will give you the maximum growth for the work you're putting in. Think about something while you're working out. One of the least paid attention to details of exercise is form. So you want to bring together the right amount of workouts and the weights connected to the form in which you uh, lift in the gym. In addition, you really want to observe the weight size you're using in order to get the right feeling. In my opinion, you should start very light and work your way up simply because you need to get the right motion and knowing what you can handle. This will mean being able to aid in the right muscle group that you need. 
Also, don't be afraid to reach out to a personal staff trainer at the facility in order to get the best workout. They will refer you to the right weights, work with you on your form, and some could explain the foods you might want to consume. Now, the basics have most likely been covered, but I, but I neglected an area of working out that needs to be discussed, and that is what days you're going to be going to the gym. Decide what days to go to the gym. This is going to be a little more straight to the point because there's really not much to discuss for them in this section of the podcast. You can work out multiple times during the week. It doesn't matter what a day goes. It doesn't matter what days you go. Just make sure it is a certain amount of weeks that makes sense for the workout you're trying to achieve. In my opinion, I would say at least three days out of the week. This could be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, if you're someone like me trying to build muscles, then you can say about five days out of the week. Then you use the weekends to rest yourself at the beginning of the next week. Or another thing that I've done is work out Monday, Tuesday, rest on Wednesday, then Thursday and Friday, and work a little bit on the weekend. So as you can see, switch it up, and you can still get a workout. But whatever you do, make sure you take a rest. You want to give yourself time to heal. Now let's look at the workout. Starting with 30 minutes. Whenever you're trying to figure out what is the best plan time session, a short time frame is for when you're trying to get something in really quick. For this, you might want to perform some form of running on treadmills. I would say running for the next 30 minutes, but not too slow, because then it defeats the purpose of running in the first place. I would say running at a little bit of a speed slower than the speed you run at your fastest. Or what you could do is speed walk, then run for the rest of the time. What about the next time frame? 45 minutes. As for this time frame, you can now perform more of a workout that makes use of the weight machines and free weights. I would say for this, use more dumbbells for about three or four sets. This could be working the upper body and lower body in combination with each other. These exercises could be performed with a little more intensity, which is more of a cardio workout. But the next time frame is what I'm used to performing, and that is about an hour. Let's look at the one hour. For me, I use this amount of time in order to get a good workout. This is where I perform my four sets of either upper or lower body exercises. I never do upper and lower body together on separate days. This way, I can target certain aspects of my body. So like I said before, twice during the week with a free day in the middle of the week and one workout on the weekend. What about one and a half hours? This is a workout that is not something that I do myself. But I will say here is something that people who are avid lifters do. These are the people who are lifted in competition. They treat their bodies like a business because they earn a living from this standpoint. Because if not, forget about just their health aspects, but you're going to see negatively affect your bank account. So with what has been said, what is the right amount of time you should be spending in the gym? Because there is a right time period for the best workout. What is the most optimal? When you're training, you want to make sure that you're getting the most from your workout. And that is a certain amount of time dedicated to a good workout. Interestingly enough, 30 minutes of training a day is enough to get a pretty good workout. Not much is needed for something, someone to get a good physical activity in. But I will say for anyone that might want to work on building their physique a little more, you should put more work in the gym. And here's where I don't even think 45 minutes is good enough. In my opinion, if you start a program that you want to build strength or lose weight, then to me, you're looking at more like somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half. Break down the workout into sets along with appropriate repetition so that you attain the outcome and the aim you want to achieve. Oh, and yes, always make sure to get the form right in order to lift so that you do not only get the sets right, but also make sure you don't get injured. So with the show wrap up, well, we have to ask ourselves a good question, and that is, what is a good workout session in the gym? Before you even step foot inside the gym, you want to have some sort of game plan on what you're going to be performing. And once you do that, then decide the time you're going to dedicate to it. That's what the topic of this episode. For me, I've been going for so long that I know that I will perform a certain number of sets and repetitions for the workouts I perform. This will take just over an hour for me to complete. For you, especially the people who start right off the back, might want to start with 30 minutes which is the minimum optimal time period for you to exercise. 30 minutes of cardio is enough to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Now, when you want to lose a lot of weight or build muscle, then you're going to have to go a little further. 
If you want to know what some of those workouts are, then you could check out some of my other episodes regarding workouts to use that I've talked about earlier in previous episodes. Thanks for listening to In The Know. Now we're bringing you another episode regarding fitness and wellness, and that is how to stick to a New Year's resolution when wanting to gain weight for muscle strength or lose weight.